Hi everyone, so now we're going to shift gears to program content and the areas that you need to fill out as well as how to reward them. So everything goes exactly um, hand in hand with what's in the program content questionnaire. So just make sure as a rule of thumb, I advise everyone to fill out that questionnaire first and then we can take the content um, and rewrite it essentially as we go along. And there will be a couple of exercises after this video just to make sure that um, you do tackle the things that we're looking for when it comes to writing these areas. So what these areas are, are um, we're going to provide you all an image. We have a photographer uh, that's going to come and take at least one photo for each program on campus so that we can have a good photo to start off um, this template and then later on we can replace those, but at least that initial photo we're going to help tackle. Um, but you're going to need to write the program overview. So again, this is really the pitch uh, on the differentiators and strengths. The course catalog does have a little overview that it provides, but it's not written at a second or third grade level. So this is our chance to really say, if you have two programs that are exactly the same, why pick the one at CSU Pueblo? So we have the program overview, we have a testimonial on the landing page. There's also a student success page that will showcase uh, student testimonials and experiences. CTA means call to action. So the call to action button to apply in every single page. This will be provided to you on our template. And then lastly, the FAQs on the landing page. So frequently asked questions. For those of you that are volunteer web editors, and this program is not your area of expertise. Uh, the FAQs is an area where you'll really have to work with your faculty uh, contact in order to make sure that you gather those frequently asked questions that people call them for. So that's actually the first area on the content questionnaire. So that's what we're going to tackle first. <laughs> so the rule of thumb for questions is to not only answer the question, but also answer how the question relates to the program or to the student. So this is just an example in which we saw the AACSB accreditation explained. And it's like, that's awesome. But what does that really mean for the student? Um, as far as like this fancy explanation of established in 1963. Um, now this program's accredited, but it's like, Go the next step. So because we're accredited, that means that you have access to this many resources. Uh, because we're accredited, it means that now you're eligible for these types of jobs. Uh, so again, those are the, the extra steps that we're looking for when it comes to answering these questions. And when you're trying to figure out what questions you should have, think about what people call you for um, that they're wondering about or what's confusing on the existing website right now that we could address. Um, so that's what this area is really for. Or again, those additional details to, um, of something that's not covered in the program overview, like are there emphasis areas? Like you could even just link to the emphasis areas page from there. Like, yes, we have six different emphasis areas, view more, and then link to the emphasis areas page. So now the next area is the program overview. So this is kind of the little fill in the blank um, template that will give you. Uh, so it, this is just how we recommend everyone start off um, their description of the program. The reason we recommend this is because it highlights the strength or the verb of what it does for students. So say my program was uh, the Bachelor of Science in Nursing. So it would be the Bachelor of Science in Nursing, program's optional, we can take that out, yeah. Bachelor of Science in Nursing at CSU Pueblo provides students with hands-on experience with our Parkview medical staff. So again, really focus on what it does for students. It provides you, it helps you achieve. Graduates of this program do X, Y, and Z. Um, so think about, about what it provides in hands. Um, and then we recommend to have bullets after this. Uh, so the first, yeah, the first line should be like, this is what the program is. Add a differentiator on there, like the BSN is ranked number fourth in the nation because of its world class, like faculty or whatever that reason is. And then the details. You're going to be taking 16 credit courses, you have several emphasis areas, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but it should be a nice, like, small section. What we look for with the program overview is that it kind of lines up with the testimonial and with the call to action, if you recall that index page. So 
And this is the main thing that I'll be looking for because this is really the marketing pitch. Um, this is the area that we need to make sure is really strong. So that's, again, where I'll be working closely with you to make sure this really pops. And then we're gonna move on to the testimonial. So that's on the other side of the program overview. We get a lot of amazing testimonials. We ask everyone to just tweak whatever testimonials you receive to be more about what the program provides for students. So if you, are, if you don't have testimonials and you're requesting them, make sure you ask it, them to keep it program specific. Like because of this program, I ended up meeting my future employer or again, just program focus, not so much like, oh, this is a great education, general base, nothing that really sells why people should choose this program at CSU Pueblo. I almost forgot to mention, when you are asking for testimonials, make sure that you include the class um, or the job title of what that person's doing, just because it does add the extra layer of credibility. Like I know for AIM, we have a testimonial from a student that works at Subaru. So that just goes to show like, oh wow, our students go to Subaru after, as an example. Um, and then class year also resonates a little bit more than the A97. We realize a lot of people don't follow exactly what that means. So class of 2018 helps identify, I guess, the class year a little bit more easy. So don't forget to include class or job, job title when it comes to testimonials.